What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Mysore. And in this episode, we are pushing south to deal with both this Moogle, um, this Moogle attack from the north, and although, to be honest, they are incredibly, incredibly depleted, so this army is probably the same, um, but this army is going to take Hyderabad and then immediately move south to uh, re-engage the French here at Arkart. But ultimately, this force could potentially stay down here as a bit of a guard army because I've got a lot of troops elsewhere in the Empire able to push um, but let's attack the city of Hyderabad and take it back from the Mughals we're going to want to do this with as few casualties as possible because we need to move south with all speed and we probably want to do some unit consolidation elsewhere in my armies to be honest I really need to start building up my economy a bit more because I am I am recruiting troops like a mother. Deploy my guns. One of these gun units are bugged. Just deploy fairly bluntly because we are going to be simply pushing forward I mean, yeah, look, that's their army. Well, that's more or less their garrison. It would appear they don't get a garrison because they... Uh, they don't get a garrison because they haven't held the city long enough to actually get one. But yeah, next volley. Boom. I don't care about making... Um, I don't care about making lots of holes in the walls because fundamentally Hyderabad is a fairly safe city and it will take some time to rebuild anyway. Come on, let's get some get some walls down, and then we can con can continue our attacks. Boom. What? Ha! Huh. Let's then advance my whole line forward. I'm not really going to be doing much clever. I'm going to leave my guns firing at will. It'll do us some friendly fire damage, but because they are landing shells in the center, I'm going to let them keep firing. Because I can't... I can never seemingly make them... I can never reorder really them to do this. That always seems to not work. So, so we might... We'll probably lose... Well, we will lose some troops to friendly fire. At least my cavalry I can set to run. I should probably set you guys to run as well, just to buy a little bit more volume. Because the shells do go up. Even then, look, see, it's only a handful of guns. Hit the tower. Yeah, we're going to send our... We're going to send our uh, melee troops up to the breaches. Should probably just make everyone run. To be honest, it will tire them out. But yeah, got a, got a unit of swordsmen and Hindu musketeers, so swordsmen can get in the breach. What we destroyed this building to the rear. But yeah, my Islamic swordsmen. Oops, sorry, I just got off the screen there. My Islamic swordsmen. Cover one breach. Indian infantry guards, pikemen. I haven't actually looked at the infantry guards. They look very similar to Kizilbashi. But the same unit card. Yeah, they are very similar to Kizilbashi. New men push up that flank. So you men cover the gate. Get my pikemen over. No, you guys go there. You guys go there. Ooh, Islamic swordsman dervishes push up to this gate. Ooh, just managed to clip the top of a. Ooh. So, for those of you that told me that 
Cannon fire doesn't bounce an Empire Toad of War. It definitely does. I'm going to push up my, cav my Skirmish Cavalry because they can fire bows into any breaches. Artillery fire, stop. There we go, we're going to attack the Seek Pikes. There are not very many of them left. Here come the camels. Pikemen, get in here. Islamic swordsmen, get in here. You men. Oh, the mice. Oh, we've secured the uh, all of the gates by the looks of it. You guys better run over here. Pikemen involved. Like I said, you guys just don't push in. Get my general up here. But yeah, my Islamic swords are going to help clear the way. The Hindu musketeers are going to ooh, chug. Pikemen begin hacking down the native bowmen. That should go fairly swiftly. We've also got some Hindu warriors in here. Push up my skirmish cavalry because they do fire over the enemy. So the two infantry guard units make a battle line there. Kizilbashi form like so. So you guys attack that Sikh warrior unit. These Islamic swordsmen hit the firelock arm populace to the rear. Because again, even though Sikh warriors are better than my dervishes, there's just not enough of them. Now you men can push down the steps as well. Pikemen are hacking their way in here as well. Now you guys get in and just start pouring your firing volleys into them. Yeah, my Islamic swordsmen are in the center, hacking away at the armed populace. Actually, to be honest, you guys secure the square. You guys back up the armed populace. When you men are ready, you can just fire at will into these combats because you can see lots of these are just the rear we can see anyway. My cavalry is, is loading and firing over the tops. You men take out that gunner. Attack the dervishes because they're going to cause issues. Only 11, 10 Sikh warriors left anyway. You men get on the point, start the tick. Five warriors left. Could probably do with sending my pikemen to back up this combat here because they're only Hindu musketeers. There we go, we've broken the back now. The chug has stopped. Charge the levy, stop them from getting onto the point. You men charge the camel nomads. Camel nomads are getting involved in this action. My general ceasefire, just be here. Melee troops have taken a bit of a hammering inside the point. Come on, dervishes, charge these men in the rear. Ooh, lots of breaking. Yeah, that's everyone except for the armed populace over there. Yeah, but they too have routed. Good stuff. All these Mysore troops. Beautiful. 
Excellent. Oop, my alarm's going off. So there is Hyderabad resecured. The loss of a thousand men. There's more than I'd like. And they are within range. Let's see if I can just immediately hop out. I can. Let's see what state this army's in. Yeah, <laughs> pretty dire. 348. Okay. So now you guys make way to here, because they're going to attack our cart, and I assume they won't be able to hold our cart with all the unrest. So the new fellows aren't needed to the south. New men push up to the front. Because I need to start boosting some of my infantry. You men go take the bridge. Uh, let's combine some of these Hindu musketeer units, because again we are Starting to run low, so just try and keep, try and keep some units at full strength, as much as possible anyway. With some weak units up behind them, so you men go join, Mr. Kadali. You don't have room, but when they get there, we can then split some off over here. Because again, you've got the same problem, but you're you're sieging them. Obviously, a diaper is ripe to be just captured immediately. A made a bad could feasibly be yeah you could be taxed because it's only four turns till Baroda is developed anyway but yeah fundamentally we just 4,800 next turn we're probably gonna lose our cart which means we're gonna lose that tax income as well which is annoying but yeah fundamentally if I can take yeah okay let's see how much free damage we get 824 men, that's not bad. There you go, attack that little mice or sloop. Yeah, so hopefully the French don't push out of our cart. Good. So we can hold oh, the Dutch own Paris. Kind of perfect, kind of not. Ideally, oh, they finally fought that French army, but they might have lost. It's Ceylon. Hopefully the United Provinces, United Provinces continue to fight the French, but we've also got to get ready, because obviously they do own Ceylon. So what I need to do is take back our cut, then consolidate my front line. Because right now we've had a bit of a mini blitz, a bit of a breakout, but I don't want to overextend. I don't want to get caught in a position where, again, where my lines are full of holes. That I don't want. It could be a bit problematic. Stop it too many times. And I'm content to keep the army to the south near Mysore and Arcot to act as a uh, an art, sort of a goalkeeper army, if you like, ready. Because they do seem to like landing at Arcot. So a garrison there's probably not a bad idea. But it doesn't then. It can't then just be a garrison. It needs to be a decent army. So that once I've repelled them. I can then uh, push them out of the territory and destroy them completely. So I can't just, I can't, ju you can't just use a, have a garrison army, push them back, and then they're loose in your home territory on the front. That's fine. You can push. Say, I could push them towards the north against the Mughals. That would be fine. But as it is, I don't have the, I don't have that flexibility in the south. I need an actual army. I've got, I've got so much stuff to rebuild, so much stuff to upgrade. Okay, you're going to pull back. Oh, you can't pull back. Okay, we have to fight. Well, we, no, I have to fight it anyway. This reinforcing army is not that much of a problem. It's this one up front with Sikh Musketeers and so on. Let's do it. Because we're going to defend with our artillery. So I'm going to put one set of guns facing forward with some Hindu infantry. Then some ready to face off against the left flank because we're being attacked from our right flank so now that's straight ahead so now the city is to our left if Empire is deciding to make sense do I want to hold the city? no because I've got I've got the advantage in firepower and let's go over here so one gun face the enemy plus Let's take two Hindi Musketeers. A 
nice swordsman unit. Two more musket units. So then I've got this gun team, these troops, and these dervishes, and all my cavalry left to deploy, plus my general, who doesn't get used as much as he should. Ah, go, 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 go. Okay, so operation fight behind the lines is not a go. Camels, go get the horsemen. Cavalry, get up here. Dervishes, get up here. Camels, get back here. Indian Musketeers, Indian Musketeers. Push up. My camels are just trying to hold the line. To be honest, the reinforcements aren't the most worrying thing. It's the the this block here, but even then they're not quite so worrying. Let's take our other gun team then and deploy them up to face against face off against the enemy. you wavering? Go on. That's them hacked down. Okay, we need to be cognizant of the fact that I am trying to deploy a gun line. Good. Run my dervishes down that way. My cavalry. Form up and hold the line. If I'm going to pull these bowmen towards me... Okay, don't, pu don't push the gun that way. Buy a bit more volume to manoeuvre. Oh, very well. Get my dervishes to work through towards the Sikh Musketeers and Square. Probably pull this cavalry unit back to deal with the front. Push them in. You guys also work towards the Sikh Musketeers. They're currently in Square. We want to try and break them. My guns switch to canister shot. Blast the Islamic swordsmen. To blast the Sikh musketeers because they're going to try and get involved in fisticuffs. You men are going to hold off the dervishes, no problem. Go on, general. Let's get in here. Okay, you've cleared out that armed populace unit. I think those reinforcements are out of here. These camel nomads have returned. Islamic swordsman there is good news. Push my cavalry up. Got my Islamic swordsman over here. You guys pivot. Okay, that's. Okay, Hindu musketeers, Hindu musketeers. Get them to move. They're going to run through my battle line at the minute, but that's okay. God, have they really decided not to push everyone in? They did. Canister shot's going to do a real number on these troops. But there we go, that's what I wanted. You men pushing to the rear of these Islamic swordsmen. Got my Islamic swordsmen pushing in, or that's probably not necessary. Nope, there we go. Gunners form up. Foot artillery aim at the Sikh musketeers. Islamic swordsmen push up. Skirmish cavalry go wide. You guys advance. 
engage the Seek Musketeers at point blank range. So back here, we've got Dervishes who are uh, not doing super well. My General's Bodyguard and a unit of camels. So you men form up in the line. You men a reserve. My guns over here. Unlimber. Because I need them to start to just shoot at the General's Bodyguard. You may need to hit these dervishes as well, because they've charged into my cavalry, so we need to charge them and then kill them. There we go, get my cavalry to chase down those dervishes. That's a non-insignificant chunk of troops there. Islamic swordsmen seek warriors, but they've all come back from routing. There's one guy back here. That's the reason why they aren't shooting. Gunners engage the musketeers. Pull back to gain some more volume. New man gunned down the musketeers. You've nearly got all the dervishes, which is awesome. Combine my camels together because there's a Sikh warrior unit that looks like they want to cause trouble. Yeah, they're charging. My gun to the rear, engaging. Oh, they came, they come to play. Okay, there we go. So now they're going to try and push across my line. Charge my camels into the sea warriors. Same with my cavalry. Let's hit them in one large go. Is that my swordsmen are going to make landfall? Hit them with as many men as you can. Do as much damage as you can. Try and make them rout. The gun team engage the mercenaries. The gun team to the rear engage that unit of seat musketeers. Actually, they both ought to engage the general's bodyguard. Yeah, horsemen break off ready to start to intercept some of these enemy troops. And then get back. Naturally, as soon as I pull the cavalry back, they then decide, actually, no, we're going to stand and fight. In which case, then I want you guys Form a line, get my camels out of there. Let them be gunned down by musketeers. Horsemen hit the Sikh musketeers. Because there is a unit still in the town. So you men form up like so. There we go. So let's just ignore the Sikh warriors. Let my line reinforce and then engage them with... Musket fire when the time is right. Then let's borrow you guys to make sure it happens. My cavalry's lured in their Sikh warriors. So let's get my cavalry out because I want them to be shot at, not engaged by skirmish cavalry. You've done good work. Horsemen, let's get you out of here. Pivot you guys to fire at the general. 
Oh yeah, they're they're in full on. We only want to hunt your cavalry mode, so. Push and surround the Sikh warriors. Yeah, that's going to be the general's bodyguard gone. See, this is what they do. The Sikh warriors just go, ah, only want cavalry, please. Only cavalry. Run around to the rear, then charge. Then everyone except my cavalry push on and attack the Sikh warriors because I want the cavalry to continue attacking those guys there. I mean, they're good infantry. Come on. Try knock out the Sikh infantry unit before they recover. Or before these guys are out. Do it before the battle ends. Got him. <laughs> Phew. Because everyone else has ran through the town, and that's going to be ni a nightmare to chase them down. But there we go. That's a nice, a nice victory there. Yep, we lost a thousand men. They lost two thousand seven hundred. So you or your army's gone. Okay, maybe that small stack that's pushing up goes to that army to the west to reinforce them rather than towards the centre, because they're going to push up to the north to reinforce my army pushing on Akbarabad. I'm probably going to get not very much money this turn. Not very much money at all. Yeah, not bad, actually. You guys can't make it to the town to the city. You're going to be, you're going to get a full replenishment job. They shouldn't move. I've got some Hindu musketeers here though, in case they do. Okay, you guys, yeah, you're going to push up towards the Jain. Let's repair. Oh, the question is, what to repair first? It's tempting to repair the cotton plantation to get some goods out the door. probably drop a bit of cash on these farms. You're gonna deal with that, those leftovers. Just the general anyway. So what's the city looking like? Not much of a garrison. So you men are gonna push up to back them up. Actually you're gonna combine troops. Although that's that Hindu musketeer unit. That Hindu warrior unit's fully out of it. They're not going to push out and attack us, so I, I feel okay about that. So let's just make sure that we keep running tally on what units we've pulled out of there. You two units could do with meeting up. That's another. That's one combined unit that can go over there. But Kizobashi Cavalry, what do you need? You've got good melee infantry. You need, you need just proper... Troops. Let's get you two, two Kizilbashi get over there. That Hindu musketeer unit, the Hindu warrior unit here can go over there. You can go back to here. Spend the last cash we can on reinforcing them. Let's send my thuggy up to Lahore. Ultimately, I'd like to consolidate around Eugene, Udaipur, get some money spent, get some investments done before I take Nerun and Lahore, because then that means... Oh, Kabul will get after. Well, Kabul will cause us issues because it will bring us into war against the um, Persians, which I don't really want. Yes, yeah, so we lost Karnataka temporarily. They're not going to go anywhere because they're already minus four, which means next turn we can attack them. Got some basic roads here in Katak built, basic roads in Calcutta built. You need a sloop. Okay, we've got all these Hindu musketeers at Mysore. So once these guys have fought them, we're going to do some reinforcement, replenishment. Actually, can I do that now? 
I can. So let's combine just the one Hindu Musketeer unit, actually. I can combine some Kizilbashi units. But you men fall back. They might trigger us to attack. Which they do, they do. Nope. Good. So let's send these guys preemptively north. Okay. Let's hit end turn. But I want to slow down my offensive now in the north. Because we've we've got the Mughals on the run. What I really need are schools and investments in my economy. Because I'm getting a bit left behind in the tech sphere. But I need money. But money builds schools, and schools are super useful. Schools get us money. <laughs> That's like that Simpsons clip. Um, but yeah, let's slow down. Take Ujain. Take uh, the Turch. Oh, I can't remember. I'm not going to guess. There's one to the northeast of Akbarabad, which is unsecured. So if we take Ujain, we can push on and take that quite quickly. Then slow it down. Push up to Nerun. But guard the bridge. Do not push. Take uh, the territory to the north, which should have a school in it. So that'll be one advantage of taking that territory there. I'm probably going to need to sit in it to make sure that the people follow our teachings. We're probably going to want a, a madrasa or madrasas to spawn priests. Because again, the Mughal Empire does spread um, Islam around the region. But India, as it is today, is a real hodgepodge of different religions. So let's make sure one is the preeminent religion. And yet, well, ultimately I missed it, but it's good that France did not leave our cart. And ultimately, they've only got Strasbourg left. So, yeah, they're on the verge of being knocked out, which means their colonies will be will be viable. Two thousand one hundred here. Hold on to it for now. You guys are replenishing. Push up to Nagpur. So I don't want to attack it because, like I said, I want to go slow. Just, just siege. Just put it under siege. Push up towards Lahore. See if we've got any enemy reinforcements on the way, which we do not. Okay, two thousand one hundred. Get the mansion here repaired. You're ripe for a madrasa. Let's repair farm. I can't get a sloop. Can I get a Oh, that's not our port, that's why I was there going, why can't I recruit anything? Can't even recruit a Jebek. But I can take this sloop out. To go guard the port. Grading the tea plantation would be useful. Uh, yeah, so as an example, we're boosting our trade, but exports are becoming iffy. So you men advance up towards Ajain. Let us take the weakest unit of Hindu Musketeers and spread the love. It's only got five slots, which is perfect. Boom. Yeah, just keep sieging them. I'm not interested in attacking. I just want to crank out the turns and get some things done. I want to, well, when I can, I want to build a traditional university. Although I suppose I should probably just take our cot. No, I want, I'm still, I'm replenishing. So I want my guys to be at full strength. I mean, I know it's only mostly militia, but I can afford to wait a turn. Oh, the French are sending troops to Paris. Oh, they've got it back. Ultimately, I suppose war in Europe is what I want. The more they're scrapping with each other, the less they're looking at me. They get my force and our cot replenished, then take our cot, and then do what I've wanted to do since I've started this campaign. Just tip money into the Indian continent, and let's start booming. I haven't really had the opportunity to do that yet. 
because I am going to need it. Ultimately, you know what this means? Roads. Because every turn you crank out, that's an extra, what, four per turn to town wealth? So by now I'm 100 turns in, that's an extra, a, a, town, a city is earning an extra 400 due to road, and I know that's not as much compared to industry, no, for sure, but industry provides a fixed level of income depending on what your modifiers are for your government research and stuff like that. But roads, roads keep on cranking up. Oh, how cute. Let's take you out. So that's going to be a Jane secured, which if we can push on, I'll go and take the next territory. But yes, my, a, a, a win in this episode would be a coherent territory, and I've got a few turns of spending money in my empire. So let's form an infantry front line, backed up by three melee troop units. Combine my camels on one flank with a melee unit. Get my horsemen on the left with a pike unit. Cluster some more infantry to push the left flank. Get my guns ready to fire. My pikes combined with the cavalry. General in the center. Bada bing, bada boom. Ah. Oh yeah. They do not have much in the way of stuff. Just push everyone up. Where's my infantry there? You guys. Take the 26th Dakil. Form your line. Camels and pikes push up towards the rear. Oh, there's explosive shells. And they're going, is that shrapnel shot? Two units just hold. We're engaging their horsemen. Again, because they're because they are cavalry, we're just ripple firing with our front rank. There we go. Starting to get some volley fire off against on their other flank, but again, they they don't got many guys. My camel's pushing towards the rear. My well, Islamic swordsmen are here ready to see where the Sikh warriors elect to go. Oh, they've, they've hidden. Well, actually, you guys go back here first. Then back here. These guys are just sat here, just being like, okay. Let the 27th pour a volley into them. Okay, they're, they're aware of what's going on. So you're attacking the general's bodyguard. You swing to the left and hit the Sikh warriors. You guys are also going to get involved and hit the armed populace. Horsemen over here. Get my infantry to keep surrounding them. You men push against the bows, just get straight in. Get the Islamic swordsmen in. My general's got left all the way at the back, but he's not going to be needed. There goes the Sikh Warriors. There goes everything, to be honest. There goes the armed populace. Now it's just these Indian infantry mercenaries and the Sikh musketeers. I 
I mean, you men. Cease fire! Because, yep. Obviously, the horsemen have come back. Islamic swordsmen, go get him! We'll divert some camels out. I'm going to get one volley of bows into my Islamic swordsmen, but they are loving life. And then I've got camels pushing up to also make a mess of you. Their commander has fallen. Uh, I had hoped to get a bit more of a rearward charge, but I'll take that. Oh, and so this is classic. Classic AI. They run everywhere immediately. So quickly that you don't actually do enough damage to make them route. And then they decided to do that anyway. But still, that's the garrison obliterated. I'm not sure whether we've got it this turn or not. They may well have fought one turn before they give up. I thought they had two turns. Oh no, I guess not. So, 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 so. Come on. I, so I'm not going to have a whole lot of income. Still. If I have 4,000, I'm going to get... Huh, doesn't matter. Because <laughs> I don't have 4,000. I was going to upgrade my... Uh, upgrade the church. Not church. The... Uh, Madras, no, uh, you school, that's it. I don't know why it took me so long to think of the word. Demand the surrender. Oh, I meant to demand surrender. I auto resolved it by accident. Let's take. So I've got this cavalry go over to a Jane. They're minus four, but we should make them chill out. And then you guys are also going to go over here as well. You men push up ahead of the city there just to make just to see if make sure no one's gonna come in and attack us. So we have twenty five hundred. Ultimately we wanna we definitely wanna take our cart. But I'm probably so Hindustan's college is there, which we've broken. Gorakhapur is ready to be built on, which is great. I mean you probably wanna get a madrasa. And then we want to attack Arcot and get another city, or get our southern city back into the fold. Because once we take Arcot, we'll have some decent tax income, which hopefully I can upgrade the, my university to the next level. Start researching the next physiocracy, not physiocracy, philosophical techniques, te technologies. And then we can start to really boost our tax base to support A, the troops we've got, and B, some expeditionary forces. So, deploy the guns. I think we're generally going to do the same thing here as we did with Hyderabad, in that we don't necessarily have to worry about being super clever. Just knock a bunch of holes in the walls. Most all of their troops are militia, so we should have an edge. But yeah, see, they're blasting us with, with their own cannon fire. I'm hoping once we make a couple of breaches, once we make a couple of breaches, they'll start to abandon. I wonder if we can if we can get this down to fifty percent quite quick. Oh no! So I was wondering if we'd get them get the stairway to collapse. Well, they don't have mortars, so I don't know what I should, I'm being... I'm being silly keeping my infantry line back here. Don't like how it's... 
getting a bit stuttery. Another section of the wall down. Keep going. Probably not going to want to put the speed timer up because I don't want to make the episode crash because we're 45 minutes in. Actually, folks fire on this corner section here. Get you guys to run because you're going to get shot in the back. Not that I really mind, but... Be a focus our fire on this corner section because that could be a lot of dead troops if we can knock it out. We do have a lot of gunfire and some good kills. Look at that guy. And the gun's sunk into the ground. You go get back to walking again. It's fundamentally militia, militia, militia. Firelock arm citizenry. Yeah, they got lots of militia back here, but militia is militia. Got some some units of Hessian line, but not very many. Fifty-two percent, seventy-seven percent. Like my Pike's honorary cavalry today. These corner sections are usually quite nice to destroy because they're quite big. I think we get pretty much up to here and up to here. So that's quite a large. I mean, I totally misremember that then. Are you sure we don't get more than that? Or am I thinking? Uh, am I thinking of the next f level up? I might be thinking of the next level up potentially. Yeah, we send our pikemen in, they'll just start mincing their way through militia. They'll throw more men in. But if we make the more gaps in the line we make, the more difficult it will be for them to hold us everywhere. Because militia still aren't terrible if you let them get you stuck. If you let them. If you let them uh, get you into a tight position. Hey, you killed the enemy general. I've only lost a handful of guys and one of them was your commander. They brought in the Ottawa scouts. I mean, I want my guns to aim at this bit here. There we go, now they're starting to do it. Oh, seven Hessian line infantry. Come on then, Dervish is up front. Backed up by a good amount of infantry. Islamic swordsmen. Actually, you guys get over here, ready to get in here. Hindu musketeers scale the walls. Royal Indian infantry guards. Push up. Islamic swordsmen, get ready to cover the flank. I got you two going to push up. Yeah, I think all my artillery is just aiming at the centre anyway, so I'm not going to carry on doing what I was going to do. You know, I want... Oh no, sorry, they're just missing. That's all it is. Get my pikemen up here as well, because they're going to support pushing through the centre. My Islamic Swordsmen are going to try and get through this gap here once it emerges. Actually, that's a trap. Because well, if they go up here, they'll be stuck. Apart from the repel lines. So push my dervishes in. Potentially just push my... Musketeers in. They're fire it will off for now, I haven't forgotten. Just push them in. Bring up my cavalry. Let's 
So you men begin hacking down the militia. Yeah, everyone's trying to get in. Want the musketeers in to start firing. Come on, you men, get in. Okay, let's begin. Although, yeah, no, I want my musketeers, my Hindu warriors can have a good go. My guards, guardsmen can take the central breach. My Islamic swordsmen get in there. Same, my backed up by my pikes. You men charge the front gate because ultimately that section there is going to be destroyed anyway. You men attack the Hessian lion to create a bit more breathing space. Probably want my general over here. And I also want my cavalry also to push over to the right. My guardsmen run through the gap. Pikemen back them up. You do musketeers scale the wall, because they're going to push the rear of the breach as well. So you get one guard unit to look one way. New men hit them in the rear. The Ottawa scouts are going to cause issues, but... They're not so bad. Get my horsemen into the center. Get my camels into the center. Get my infantry to push in to attack the citizenry. You guys get over here to attack the rear of this breach. My infantry guards can hold their own. Musketeers are fighting there. My guardsmen to push into the rear of these militia here. See if we can cause them to break. You men attack here. Get my cavalry, skirmish cavalry, to take the centre. Campbells attack the 15th. The Hindu musketeers keep attacking the 36th. You men keep attacking the militia. Kizilbashi push forward into this uh, firelock armed citizenry unit. They're broken. Ooh, are they all broken? Yeah, there we go. If you apply enough pressure at all places at once, they crack. Excellent. So that's our cut taken. One, hopefully, once and for all. So let's repair the government building, and that's an extra 2,700 in tax coming our way. So let's bring over these Hindi Musketeers so I can do a bit of spring cleaning. Not very much though. You can have two fresh units. Plenish what you can. These men push up to the front. Excellent. You can't replenish anything, but ultimately you're depleting the garrison quite nicely. If we deploy back, we will annihilate them in the open field. But I've got a lot of stuff to repair. 7,000. 4,000 of that's going on a new university. And repairing my buildings. I don't necessarily need all my military buildings, actually. I want to make... I chiefly want to replenish my civil administration and uh, my cultural buildings because they do increase town wealth growth. And you also want better roads. But I'm not sure. I might not even have that technology, actually. But yeah, there's a nice war in Europe, though. France and the United Provinces squaring off. Prussia versus Russia is quite good. Keeps things interesting. Let's see. They might try and push through our lines. They might do some raiding at the frontier. 
but I don't care if they raid the frontier. That's not my primary concern. Like, Calcutta is an incredibly valuable region when you get it upgraded, but I haven't. Just haven't had time. One of the things I need to do is get all my territories up to cobbled road standard. That means Calcutta and, our, and um, Calcutta and Katak to the to the east need upgrading as well. Yep, don't worry, you're okay now. Minus one, minus one is okay because it means they have one more turn of rebelling, and that's that. Repair the school of oh, to be honest, just just get these things repaired until we've got enough money to build a university. Get things repaired, because I I don't like seeing stuff broken on the campaign map. Yep, yeah, that's all my money. Could push on with you guys, but you're not going to. Got three cash. New town emerges in Gujarat. Excellent. Can't do anything about it, though. String of Patna, you've gone on to Wedge. No, we can, we're nowhere near getting quick lime. Uh, get on with advanced irrigation. Irrigation. Improve pop growth, improve, improve wealth developed by farms, because I've got loads of farms. 9,000 next turn. I want to get my tax base booming. I can't still be converted, as are you. Nothing's been built. Okay, another end turn. We're going to crank through some end turn phases now. Because I want to get my I want to get my tax base upgraded because ultimately I, I own most of India and I'm I'm net 9,000 Spain wants an alliance no sorry Spain I appreciate the offer but Mysore just wants to control India for now we will get to you later no otter. See, now I'm, now I'm booming. They all want to be my friends. Let's see what we got going on. But nine grand, which is a good amount spent. We can upgrade or we can rebuild some of the our major city to the northwest. So they are still recruiting. They're recruiting at Lahore. I don't want to push on Lahore. Which might be a, a bad decision because it will give them time to rebuild their strength. But to be honest, I want to take advantage of this opportunity where I don't have to just pour every gold coin I have into the military for once. I can actually go... Aha! 400. 10 grand this turn. Nice. Right. I made a bad. Repair that. Repair that. Repair that. Probably push these two units over to Ameda Bad to act as a bit of a garrison. Same with you, probably. Okay, so for example, we do have lots of plantations we can get up and running. We've got so much stuff we can get up and running. Okay, 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 right. So when it comes to trade, even though we have options, it's cotton or tea. And even though cotton is the most valuable one at the minute, I am going to want tea. Tea plantations. Although, let's check to make sure we've got... First of all, you guys can start to be taxed. Make sure no one is currently maxed out on it. Well, actually, to be honest, most of these areas can't export stuff, so they aren't... There's a good reason they aren't maxed out. But let's get... T, T, T. Then we've got 3,000 left over. That gets us cobbled roads, cobbled roads, plus 777, which will get us some meagre yield farm, low yield, low yield, low yield. Could do something here, but I'm not going to. Hey, they've really built a madrasa in there that's not bad actually although oh we do have they do have a body house that's okay do 
build a madrasa here just to try and get more priests probably is the answer to that dispatch a small force just to wipe out that cavalry unit Blech. Then combine units, bring them back, good, 12,000 next turn, I think we might be starting to see it, finally, finally, good, that's not an army pointed at me, well, for now. The trade, absolutely. We will trade. We are men of business. We are not here to abuse. Especially as they are... Well, I suppose the Ottomans really are our guys in Europe. I should have allied with them, really. I'm going to. When it's my turn, they will get an envoy from the Mysore Empire. Hey, they're sallying out of Agbaraban. That's awesome. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the destruction of the Akbarabad garrison. Cheers, everyone.